So, game on Feast and Lorenzo Sonigo, they're facing off in the first round of the Italian Open. Now, Sonigo this year, he's had some good results. Again, mixed him with some bad wins. Mixed season this year. In Sardinia, in his hometown, he was able to win against Laszlo Gera in three sets. Great uh, tournament from Sonigo there because he is really a accustomed to these clay courts, so really great tournament from Sonigo. He also managed to have a, a, a little good run in Miami. He made the fourth round loss of CT Pass, but still managed to have a decent run. So he is capable of putting on good runs, as his defeat of Novak Djokovic in Vienna shows that he's capable of putting together good runs when he can. So... And now he gets to play in Monfils, and he'll be happy because Monfils is in the great form, and plus he has the home support, so it will be important. So it will be uh, something we have to look out for. Now Monfils this year hasn't competed a whole lot. He took a break from from tennis. I think he was really he, he needed to just have a break to cool down of, uh, of all the stress and stuff. He did play at the ATP Cup earlier this year. He lost to Berrettini in straight sets. And at the Australian Open, he lost to Rusevour, and he was in tears in his press conference. He wasn't. Happy, so he took a break from tennis. He, he and his girlfriend got engaged. Now he's back to finally to play, and a lot of fans will be happy because he's back and he's ready to compete again. And a lot of them have been waiting for his return. Now, Monfils and Sonigo they have met once, and Monfils has the head to head lead. They met in Shanghai in 2019. Monfils won that one in three sets. Now, my prediction here. I think that while Sonigo may look like he's in better form, I think that Monfils can win this. We have seen losing streaks this year come to an end, and we have seen them end before. And I think that he has the power, that Monfils has the power to end it. I think he can end the, the losing streak because he'll be, he'll be motivated to compete again. I think now he's refreshed, he's recharged, he's taking a break, he's ready to compete. So I'm going to pick Monfils to win this. In three sets. Now, Nori and Carbiz Bayna, they're facing off in the f first round, or the second, or the first round, sorry, of the Italian Open. Now, Bayna this year, he's had, I would say, a decent year. He hasn't had the best results because a lot of the a lot of tournaments he entered, he got a lucky loser. So he didn't always, he didn't get. He didn't qualify for many events. He actually got a lucky loser. But he was able to do well in a challenger level. And he won the challenger in Serbia. So that was a good result for him. But And he also did well in Chile Open. He reached the quarterfinals. But other than that, he isn't in the best of form now. So that's going to be something that we have to take notice of. Because he isn't in great form right now. And he's still trying to get back some form. So we'll see. Can he do it? against an informed Nori. Now, Nori this year has been in great form. He's transformed this good form from the hard court onto the clay courts. He reached the final and came very close to claiming his first ATP title in Estoril in Portugal. He lost to Ramos Vinolas in the third set tiebreak. And he has a good loopy forehand that really does well on these clay courts. So, he's really in good shape now. He's in good shape and it looks like he's there. He's ready to compete now. So that's a good shot sign for Nori that he's playing well. And he's going to be... And we're going to see, can he go deep in this event? Because he can beat some players because he is in really great form. So it's going to be interesting to see what will happen. Now, they have met once and Nori leads it. They had to head. They met in Estoril. That was the place that Nori got close to winning his first ATB title. In 2018, and Carbez Bena won that one in three sets. In the third set tiebreak. 5 7 2 6 7 6 2 7 6. So, my prediction I think that Nori will win this. I think that while Bayana leads the head to head, I think that Nori has improved tremendously since then. And I think that he's playing really well. He's had some good victories in qualifying too. So, I'm going to pick Nori to win this one in two tight sets. So, then Shabavalov and the Polish player, Mazar Kak, they're facing off in the first round of the Italian Open. Now, now Shabavalov hasn't really been in his best form this year. He has had some good runs mixed in with some bad runs. He did manage to make a semifinal in Dubai and a quarterfinal in, in Doha. 
and he also managed to make a third round that the Australian Open. But other than that, he hasn't had the deepest of runs because he lost to Bublik last time in Madrid. So it wasn't a, a, the, the greatest one in Estoril. He lost in the first round to Mute. So he is a player that can sometimes be ragged. Sometimes he does well. Sometimes he doesn't do as well. So it's going to be great. To, we have to see whether he can be consistent here. But luckily, he gets a, a player who is not who is not as suited to the clay. So Mazarkak has had some great victories in qualifying. He's trying to get back to in his old form. He's gotten a lot of protected rankings lately because he has had some injuries that set him back. But he managed to have some impressive victories in qualifying. He beat Popperin in, in three sets. He beat Nishioka in straight sets. So he's had some good wins. And now he gets to play Shabavolov. And... He can still be a great player. While he's not as good on the clay, he can still be a great player. So it's going to be important to, that Shabavolov doesn't underestimate him. Now, they've never met, so they have a 0-0 zero, zero head to head. So my prediction, I think that Shabavolov will win this. I don't think it's going to be easy because Majorkak is playing well. Especially, he's playing pretty well now. But I'm going to pick Shabavolov to win this just because I think he has the higher ceiling of the two. And I think that he's just at a higher level. Because there's a difference in the rankings for a reason. So I'm going to pick Shabavala to win this in two tight sets.